Exactly the inspiration I needed to tune the bagpipes. Real and Rope Show coming on this stage in about two minutes. But first, we start with the bagpipe tune, which means we got to tune the bagpipes. Anyone here ever heard out of tune bagpipes? Yeah. You didn't raise your hand. You're you're about to. Those are behaving. just up the bagpipe tuning. I often get the question after, can you actually tune those, or are those just a bit? No, it's an instrument. I gotta tune it. It's only one note that I tune, but I still gotta tune it. You could not tune it once, and then they'd find out. <laughs> <laughs> Under the banners of Fiach McHugh Oberon. Gesundheit. 
No, that was his name. His name was Gesundheit? No, his name was Dick himself. Well, don't say that to Morgan, that's rude. I'm not telling anyone to Dick. It was his name. Have you ever seen Irish names? They're crazy. You should see them spelled. No. Well, this is the marching song of Fiac McHugh O'Bannon.
One word of Gaelic. One word that means help or cheers. Slancha! 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 And we sip. The gremlins will not win against me! I'm gonna share with you a tale now from my childhood. No, not quite. No, no, no. It's an old Irish children's song. I've been singing this since I was three years old. Yeah, you gotta remember something, though, about Irish children's songs. They're not like they are in your country. You probably grew up with things like Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Oh, I wonder what you are! Yeah, well, in Ireland, the song I grew up with was about an old lady, All right. a three-month-old baby, oh. and a knife. Oh! Big long pen knife, to be exact. Oh, what could possibly go wrong with that combination? It's an Irish song. Everything. Oh, so somebody leaves. Yep. Or somebody dies. Both. 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 Both are good. Both are good. This one's called Wheel It, Wheel It, Wow Yeah.
bit of my childhood shared with you. Aww. Yeah, that does explain yes. a lot. And, uh, <laughs> it really does. I'm happy with where I ended up. <laughs> Me too, and you know what I think that deserves? Awesome. So do you remember your wee bit of Gaelic? Remember that one word of Irish? It means health or cheers. Sancha! Sancha! And we sit. Don't trip over his camera. Hey Morgan. Wanna hey, teach wanna wanna teach him that thing that you taught us that we've been doing backstage? Alright, well, the word he's just taught you for uh, help in uh, in Welsh would be Yehda. That's Yehda. Yehda. You got it. Rolls right off the throat. But as we're at your home fair, here in the south, gotta do it. Yeah, die, y'all. Yeah, die, y'all. And we say. Well, we got enough time for one more story. One more tale. Although this one's a bit more of a public service announcement of what to do in the rare but very fortunate circumstance that the pub, if it were to catch on fire. And what would we do? Well, firstly, you gotta remember that booze is flammable. Hey, Morgan, did you learn that in school? I learned it in high school, but not in class. Okay. <laughs> and it tends to be stored in the cellar. See, that's what I want to know. So the best thing you can do for the good of the town, you see, is to go down to the cellar and drink up all the booze before the fire gets there. Right, right, let's go! No, 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 we need you. No, that, that already happened. No, no, no. How about we invite them? That sounds like a good plan. Who wants to come with us and save the town by drinking for free? <laughs> well, it's our first year on this stage, and I don't think management would like it if we burned it down. So next year, you're part of your mind like this, we can do it. <laughs> I didn't do it. So I'm going to ask you to scream just two words. And the first word is booze. children out there, you can scream, juice, juice. I mean, after all, it's kind of the same thing, right? The only real difference between booze and juice is time. Let it sit around, it'll get there. You didn't do it was a science show, did you? <laughs> like I like to say, welcome to the real and rough, an educational live eating experience. <laughs> So I'm gonna ask you instead to scream just two words. Oh wait, no, I already did that one. And the second one is the most well-cued callback I've ever heard. I'm gonna say somebody shouted McIntyre. At the top of your lungs, you're gonna yell back. McIntyre! Yeah, that was good. All right, let's give it a wee try, shall we? There was found upside down, laughing up the whiskey from the floor. Here's the booze. The fireman cried as they came knocking at the door. I don't let them in till it's all drunk up. And somebody shouted, McIntyre. Yeah. This will be good. It's got to be so home. good. <laughs> this one's called when the old dun cow caught fire. Bloody pops on fire. 
that's not how my night would end. What would you do after drinking for free all night? I know I sure would. Find another pub. And leave that night when the fire was out. We came up from the cellar below. Our pub was burned. Our booze was drunk. And our head was hanging low. From all the heroism, we saved the town. You see, it wasn't all the booze. Bang! Says Brown with a look quite queer. It seems something caught his ire. Well, we gotta get down to the next pub there. It calls us in the night. Our hair was brown, upside down. Up and up the whiskey from the floor. Here goes. The fireman cried as he came knocking on the door. Y'all have been wonderful. Back left there. I mean, you're in, you're in the shade. You're comfortable. This whole section, though, is mostly silent. And everybody shouted back in time. Oh, that was so much better. And we all got blue blind politics. When we all got to say thank you. Hope to show our appreciation to you for spending this half of an hour here with us. We'll be doing it with our tip baskets in hand, but really we'd just like to get your name, shake your hand, and say thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Carolina Renaissance Festival.